In this video, we're going to go over ventricular bigeminy. Bigeminy, by definition, means a premature beat that occurs every two beats or every second beat. And so let's take a look at this EKG. I'm going to look here at this rhythm strip, and I see I've got a narrow QRS wide, narrow QRS wide, narrow wide. You can even look down here at lead two, where we get the whole rhythm strip, narrow wide, narrow wide, narrow wide, narrow wide, narrow wide. And so what you can notice is in between, so we've got from this normal beat here to this normal beat here, we would expect the next beat to occur in the middle, but this is occurring premature. And let's look at our normal beats. We see our normal beats have a nice P wave causing a narrow QRS and a nice T wave. And then those funky beats are wide, complex QRS. The QRS is much wide. And if I look in front of them, if I look in front of them throughout, I don't see any discernible atrial activity. All right, so I'm seeing good atrial activity in front of our normal beats. But I'm, I'm looking to see, is this a PAC with aberrancy? Or is this the PVC that is occurring? And I do not see P waves, so I do not know P waves before these funky beats. And so I can then, because of that, say that these are premature ventricular contractions. And so they're occurring every second beat. Every second beat, there's a PVC. And so because of that, we have bigeminy occurring, and it's due to ventricular contractions. So this is a ventricular bigeminy. So the terminology we would say with this EKG is that there's ventricular bigeminy. That's because it occurs every two or every second beat. So remember, when you see these wide, complex, premature beats, we all think, okay, that's definitely a PVC. However, Check out my previous video on PACs with aberrancy because just PACs, premature atrial contractions, can also be sneaky and conduct aberrantly. So the way we look for that and test to make sure that this is not a PAC, well, if it's a PAC, we're going to see P waves before our premature beats. And so you always want to look and see, is there a P wave? And we don't see any. Is there a P wave before these beats? And I don't see any. I don't see any. You can scan throughout all the leads, and you can make sure that you're not missing, that you're not missing on these premature beats, because each lead is going to capture it a little differently. So hope this helps. Ventricular bigeminy is common, and um, it's good to be able to pick that up on EKG to make sure you know what part of the heart is giving us a hard time right now. So take care.